Good evening, listeners. I'm Byron Bertram. And I'm Ivan Penaluna. And on tonight's episode... Climate sex change. Earth self-identifies as Venus. Oh, you guys like to tell jokes and giggle and kid around, huh? Giggling like a bunch of young bros in a schoolyard. Well, let me tell a joke. I wanted this to be professional. I don't gotta listen to this shit. You certainly don't, pal. Because the good news is... With Byron Bertram and Ivan Penaluna. Okay, this is the news from NASA that Earth has started to self-identify as Venus. NASA's very concerned yeah. that if Earth starts to feel too much like Venus, that it might start uh, you know, behaving in a different way and become a dusty hot planet too close to the sun. Jesus, yeah, I... it's concerning for everybody. It should be. You it know? is concerned. These but, Nazi scientists are up, they're, they're they're bent out of shape. They've been this upset since the Russians came. Well, one of the theories that NASA's put out there is that basically, basically this is all was stole started by Caitlyn Jenner. You know, um, and uh, the planets are stood around and they're going, hey, why should humans have all the fun? You know, I've been a, a rocky outcrop, a dusty rocky outcrop for many years. I want to be an ice giant. That's true. You know, and uh, this is on the back of, this is even more alarming, the news out today as well that uh, Neptune has just won Most Inhabitable Planet of the Year Award 2015. Really? Yeah. Which is just outrageous. All of the really inhabitable planets are very annoyed about this because they're thinking, well, I've got, I've got an atmosphere. I've got water and, you know, uh, greenery. Why the fuck should an ice giant be given? Yeah, if anything, Mars is, they, should, should be given. Well, Mars should at least have a look in. Mars should be planet of the year this year because they just discovered water on it this well, year. Well, there you go. And all of a sudden, Mars gets a shaft, just like Donald Schuff got the shaft from Time magazine, and they gave it to that, to that uh, homely German lady. Well, there you go, yeah. There's no justice in the world. And I think this is really, before, really what's, Neptune. What's Neptune fucking done? Well, exactly. What the fuck has Neptune ever done for anybody? Right, right? great. You I brought mean, it, you brought us like some fucking uh, uh, some Roman god. You know that was a while ago. All right, and also the Neptune's been an ice giant for a long time. I mean, to say that it's one of the most I- inhabitable planets in the solar system is just ridiculous. But, I, I mean, applied for a work visa for a Neptune. Nothing. Didn't even get a response. This is this is the world we live in now. Yeah, and you can blame Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, thank, and Caitlyn Jenner got like Woman of the Year, and Caitlyn Jenner didn't even cut her dick off. No, exactly. Just tucked it in. So this is, I think, just this, put a kneecap over it. This is part of Neptune's logic, because Neptune, you know, is, is thinking to itself, "Why the fuck should these guys have all the fun? You want to re-identify yourself? That's fine. Reinvent yourself. That's great." No, I well, consider can myself more of a pro- progressive guy. Like I know you're a little bit more conservative and old school. I am more progressive. Like my toaster is just identify itself as. You know, as a, is a, is a broken piece of shit. So, it is. You, so I, does your toaster I, I have a sex? Does it, do, you, do you think of your toaster as like male or female? Well, I would think it's female because you know it's got it's got a vagina and an asshole. No, do, I mean because you, you put things of, you in double, it, you could double team it. Yeah, because because you put things in it and it toasts them. Do you yeah. think of it as a female? Yeah, you would think of it as a female. Yeah, because you stick stuff in it. Yeah, right. But maybe maybe it wanted maybe it will identify itself with a man when I try to cook a banana. <laughs> Who am I to judge? Oh, this Appliance is could just, you know, and my, my, uh, actually, my stove identifies itself as a breeding ground for, for bacteria. Well, that's, that's no change there. I so, don't know if that's got anything with identification or the fact that I just never throw out old condiments. What, what would you, I mean, here, here's, a, here's, a, here's a conundrum for you. Wh- which one would you rather be? Would you rather be Jupiter or Saturn? Jupiter or Saturn? Yeah. Well, well I, Jupiter's like the, the, traditionally the happy planet, and Saturn's traditionally the more moody planet. You know, the Jupiter's mid-range like, giants. Well, I, it's kind of a good, tough question because, you know, like, if I was Jupiter, I'd be kind of an idiot. Everybody would run rings around me. Well, what, sort, what sort of voice would Jupiter have? But Jupiter? Yeah. I'd be a pessimist. He's like, hey, guys, I'm Jupiter. You know, I was coming last. Everybody runs rings around me. That's not very funny. No, that's not a satire. No. I think you're mixing them up. I think Jupiter would be gay. Oh, Jupiter would just be, be like, from, from, hi from there, check out my big cold sore. I'm Jupiter. There you go. I think that's more like yeah. it. Yeah. So Jupiter, Jupiter would live in Cold Harbor. Check out my big gay. cold sore. It's 40 times the size of the Earth. Mm. That's Jupiter. Yeah. And Saturn would be more like one. Saturn would be like, damn, check out no, my no, new you... ring. <laughs> Why Saturn black? I don't know. <laughs> Yo, man, my name Black Saturn. No, yeah, Jupiter. It's just like, you know, you can imagine Mars being black, maybe. 
Really? Yeah, but you know, it's out, you want to make Saturn black? That's fine. I don't care. You know, why is why is Mars black? Just because they discovered water? That's racist. That doesn't make, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I'm looking to be offended somehow. Well, because it's warm. I mean, you know, it's it gets pretty cold out on the outs, uh, outside of the, uh, the solar Mars system. Mars does have a thing for fat white women too. It does. Yeah, you you, you can't you can't take Mars anywhere without it fucking a fat white girl. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I like my fat white bitches. <laughs> What's your name? My mouth. Bo- bo- oh, I knew this was going to be offensive. All the planets are black. Well, I knew this was going to be offensive. And you're getting a call in the middle of the podcast. What did I tell you, fuckface? Oh, my goodness. What did I fucking tell you? You know who that was? That was my, I don't give a fuck. That was actually a black friend of mine following was me it? right now. Well, he's here in the podcast. Uh, this, really and he's, he's, he's offended. No, it's actually a white friend offended <laughs> on behalf of the black. I thought it was funny. So, <laughs> so anyway, yes, yeah, this is the news that uh, all the planets are self-identifying as different planets. And, you know, maybe even some of them will start identifying as stars. That'll be worrying. Well, I'm an asshole, so I obviously identify with Uranus. Fair enough. You know. But yeah. what if, what if uh, you know? And Pluto's not even a planet anymore, right? Pluto's not. It's, it's a dwarf. It got demoted. It went it's to the championship. Planet. It used to be in the premiership. I, it's something like, you know, somewhere between the sun, uh, rather the earth and the moon. Right. Well, you're English, so basically uh, Pluto is basically is like the Leeds United. Yeah. Of, well, of the, uh, I, I don't system, know. Does right? Pluto smash up shopping centers and it has a really nasty <laughs> demeanor? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's, it's, you know, it's a lot like England. It's, it's cold and desolate and small. That's fair. That's a good point. Yeah. You know, I, I it's cool talking to you about uh, astronomy and that. Uh, astronomy, people don't talk about astronomy. Astronomy seems to be like so 80s. It, it's a very, very 70s and 80s thing. I loved astronomy music. You know, sometimes when I'm drunk, I'll, get, I'll come home and I'll just listen to astronomy music. What, what do you mean by astronomy music? Just like, I mean, just, just YouTube, astronomy music. It's just... Oh, you mean like space <laughs> music? Yeah, space music. And you synth. Just, se- space uh, I just synth love music. cheesy synth music. And it's actually, that's the only thing that gets me off. Really? Yeah, I just sort of fantasize about entering black holes in my Milky Way. Do you do you hit the ceiling? Yeah, sometimes. Well, well I hit just the the. You <laughs> when know. you said the ceiling, you don't mean the ceiling. Do no, you? You I mean, mean the Van Allen. You mean you mean the uh, wall just behind your head? Yeah, that's true. I mean the Van Allen belts. <laughs> the Van Allen. Belts. Yeah, that's why the moon landing never happened, man. <laughs> the Van Allen bites, man. <laughs> Radiate your fucking star shuttle, man. Are you are you one of those believers? By the way, you don't think the moon landing happened? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Because the I mean, Van Allen belts expired, so you think Stanley Kubrick pl- planted the yeah, set by know, Nixon? Yeah, I, I don't know enough about it. I don't know. No? It's not something that... I mean, yeah, sure, it might not have happened. It might not have happened. It may well not have happened. I don't know. I'd know like do I to... believe that the Russians shot a monkey into space? Yes. Yeah, they did. Yeah, do I believe that they, you know, they, they shot dogs into space? Yes. Did I, do I believe that they landed men on the moon? Hmm. Maybe. You know, it's funny because the technology back there, it's like landing man on the moon and then it's just like, you could, you know, the satellite was pretty shit. Yeah, I don't, I, we, you know, we only had two channels in Britain at that time. Yeah. We had BBC One and BBC, oh, we had BBC One and ITV. It was like BBC Two didn't even exist. How, How come nobody's even you... going to the moon anymore? Well, no, it's, it's been there, done that. Yeah, it's like Club 54, you know, it had just yeah, like no, a that... small window of excitement. That That's it. what makes me think that it didn't happen. Because nobody, keeps, nobody goes back no anymore. no one went back there. And now they're going, oh, we're going to go to Mars. Oh, yeah? How are you going to fake, fake that one? Everybody said they're going to Mars, too. Everybody's just procrastinating. Well, now, now they're going, like, Chinese are going, yeah, we're going to Mars. Yeah, well, the Chinese will probably be the first to go to Mars. Yeah. You know. We're going to ruin it for everybody else. They'll probably build their uh, space shuttle in Walmart. What they're going to do is they're going to build a replica of Kelowna on Mars and call it West Kelowna. Really? Yeah. Chinese West Kelowna. Chinese West Kelowna. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very worldly... Uh, it's, like a, it's like a Chinese space station built in Afghanistan. That's what yeah. Kelowna looks like. Kelowna is... Uh, it's, it's remarkably uh, whatever. It's just hot and deserty. Yeah. Hot, deserty, and hell's angel Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd love to go to space. Space would be fun. Would you like to move to Kelowna? If I moved to Kelowna and said, Byron, move to Kelowna, would you do that? No. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. You're pretty adamant about that. There wasn't yeah. much doubt in your voice then. No. You were like, No! No, but, but going to space. You like, be... It's like I'd a, a, a put a, a conceptual finger up your bottom. Then it's like you were going, no, <laughs> no, don't do that. No, I won't move to Cologne with you. I'd like to go to the sun, though. Oh wait, that'd be a bad idea. That's a terrible idea. Yeah, 
People like going, shit, 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 my ego is burning up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the sun will ever be inhabitable? Yeah, yeah. Once you get there, it'll go out because the, the, the light of your light <laughs> will be uh, so strong that it'll just, it'll just evaporate. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, shit. God. And everybody will go, look, there's the Byron. And every morning, the Byron will get up with little wings on. Hold any clothes on, just a little loincloth, like a little cherub. They go, look, there's the Byron. It's shining on us. It's keeping us alive. There's the Byron. You know, it's funny. Uh, before we were talking about No, stuff, I think that's funny. That is funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, what else is funny? Maybe the Islamic State will be the first ones to get to oh, the Can you imagine if the Islamic State have to look up at you every day and go, look, there's the Byron? Yeah. <laughs> and you've hardly got any clothes on. And they launch a space rocket to fucking kill you. Yeah. Oh, they spare no sense for wanting to kill. Hey? That's true. You like this? I, I, don't know. Know. I don't know why we didn't start with this. This is a great place yeah. to start. Let's I don't go know. from here. What, what, you know, how will the Turks get oil to them? I have space? no idea. It might be a pipeline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a pipeline to space would be great. It's like a match. Yeah. Intergalactic match. Oh, my God. There would be no problems with that. No, there wouldn't be, would there? And I'll build a pipeline. I've told you. To, to suck oil out of the moon. 2016 is going to be no more violence in the Middle East because everybody's going to be dead. Yeah. We'll have to export violence to other parts of the world because they'll have killed everybody. You know, I just hope we run out of oil eventually so then, you know, people just stop dying. My son asked me about that. He goes, Dad, when we run out of oil, what are we going to have to do? I said, probably use horses and shit like that. He's like, no. Okay. (laughs) I've, 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 you know, introduced him to the concept of peak oil. He said, yeah, we have peak oil, son. Not many people are going to talk about this, but we do have peak oil. And I'm not getting him paranoid and worried about it, but I just think, you know, you need to know that this is the world that you're living in. Yeah. You know, I don't give a fuck whether the Saudis are pumping and dumping right now uh, because of an oil war with the Russians. You know, I know that basically there's a finite amount, and the more they pump and the more they dump, the quicker that day comes. Well, they don't have any more any. Don't have any more anymore. Yeah. But the Saudis know, fuck it, they've probably got 30 years before they're overturned in the Islamic Revolution. I mean, 30s, that's generous. The Saudis have probably got five to 10 years before an Islamic Revolution overturns them. Really? Oh, fuck yeah, they're done. Wow. This is nice and cheery, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back to which planet do you want to live on? Which, which one shall I put the Saudis on? And, uh, Venus? Neptune? Yeah. Mercury. I'll put them on Mercury. They'll like put, it there. Put, put them on the sun. They're, they're, you're used to that weather. Okay. Do you want to go to the fucking news? Yeah, let's go to the fucking news. <laughs> this is the fucking news. All right, go, go. In five, four. I can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. Okay. Well, no. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! This is the fucking news. Fucking thing sucks! So today in the fucking news, on Christmas Eve in Pensacola, Florida, a man crashed his white Dodge Challenger through two businesses and a store called Advanced Tax Services and a casket store. No one was hurt, although both businesses were completely destroyed. When asked why he crashed into the businesses, the man stated that he was attempting to travel through time. (laughs) (laughs) It's just a joke about the Back to the Future that I don't get. Yeah, he was just trying to go really fast. I guess he really thought... You know, I was saying maybe he wanted to go into a coma. That's a that's a travel through time. That is, yeah. Well, so I, was, I thought there's going to be more pinned pinned to the uh, fact that it was a tax office and uh, a, 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 a casket a, store. A, well, a ca- were, when you say a casket store, you mean like coffins? Yeah, yeah. Well, there is two things uh, in life, you know. For their certain that's death very in true. Texas. Boom. There you Boom, go. That's it, Byron. You just yeah. worked out that fucking conundrum. Oh. This is probably a fake news story. I read. So that's how we were celebrating as uh, <laughs> death in <laughs> Texas. You, there's probably some logic to to it. It's a thirty, know, 30 year anniversary by uh, taking a bunch of uh, peyote. Yeah. Of Back to the Future and uh, just getting all philosophical. Oh, maybe he just, about death he just thought I, I'm just going to destroy the death and taxes in life by crashing into it. Maybe it was just an art installation that he was trying to tell us. It's fucking good. Oh, that's, that's a moment of brilliance, Byron. Yeah. yeah, I really need to go and comment that on the story. That's that's brilliant. It's just art. You don't understand art. All right, so the next one in fucking news. A woman in California gained something as she was robbed by three men last Wednesday. A new friend on Snapchat. An 18-year-old man named Victor uh, Almanez Martinez and two other men robbed four people of their possessions, including a 2013 Chrysler 200. Uh, but not before taking a selfie with one of the female victims and adding her as a friend on Snapchat. <laughs> Police used the Snapchat to locate and arrest Victor Martinez, 
The other two individuals are unfound. What, are, are you fucking for real? Yes, this happened. See, social media is just, it's, a, it's amazing. It's, it's, yeah, like it's just passive aggressive uh, NSA tactics. It's amazing. It's like you give us the information. It really attracts a lot of idiots, like the riots in, in Vancouver. How many people just like, hey, I'm going to blow up a cop car, a selfie. Mm, like that, you fucking idiot. So, so narcissism and vanity overtakes common sense when it comes to crime. And, yeah. Well, pretty much. When it comes to being a criminal, or, you just or, can't. Even the law of survival. Yeah. I mean, you want to stay out of jail? Don't fucking film yourself doing shit and then put it on social media. It's like, I guess it's just worth getting caught just because you might get some likes. <laughs> that's how valuable likes are to that's, the ego. That's how fucked up people are. Yeah. You know? It's amazing, yeah. Snapchat. Oh, wow. It's, I thought that's a bad idea. That's even a worse idea than just befriending a girl on Facebook that you have a one-night stand with that you never want to see again. Yeah, because then she that's sees terrible. all your shit. Yeah. Why would you want to do that? Big time. It's like that's worse than tweeting ISIS. Well, you do you tweet them? Yeah, sometimes. Be like, hey, say, what's yo, up? Yo, yo, bro, bro, what's going on? Yeah, hey, what's up, L bag daddy? Yeah, yeah. And you say we got a draft show. show. Do you want to put out a fatwa on me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something My like name's Byron Bertram. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to? You know, put out a twenty million dollar, you know, <laughs> head up price on my head. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe you want to do that. It might do, uh, definitely improve my career. So get me in the paper. I That's really true. love that. I think a good chunk of our listeners are ISIS. I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt you don't it. think they have iPods? They're like, listen to these fuckers. No, but they're big. No, fa- they'd be like, listen to this fucker, mate. He's an idiot. Because half of ISIS. But they are from big Britain. fans of. They're ever, they are apparently huge fans of stop podcasting yourself. <laughs> they, they love that shit. <laughs> love it. It's like, well, when their lead guy's Graham, he's got the same beard as him, so they kind of relate. <laughs> so. Um, what, what do you think? Uh, yeah, it's, do, do, I'll talk about ISIS all day. But anyway, they, uh, they yeah, they definitely don't listen to you. You know. Yeah, I don't know. They never come to any of my comedy shows. But then, who knows who's listening to us? You We're never using know. the right hashtags. You That's true. Know. It's all about the hashtag. You know what you need? You need something like uh, you need a comedy festival in Raqqa. That's what you need. This Ramadan, ISIS presents the Raqqa International Comedy Festival. Fun for the whole family, except if you're a woman. Uncensored and uncircumcised, unless if you're a woman. The Islamic State invites you to enjoy the best irony and satire Islam will allow. Heads will roll, better than the Hezbollah fringe. Featuring Muhammad, the handless bomber. Muhammad, the unknown Muhammad, Alan Akbar Alda, and Bill Cosby. This is my kind of festival. Usually I put my audiences to sleep and rape them. <laughs> What's a Muslim's favorite kind of pizza? <laughs> Plain. This show is guaranteed to be hilarious. Not coming would be suicide. There will be so much laughter, buildings will crumble. Be there or be burned alive. Special drop-in guest, the Russian Air Force All-Star Bombs. We guarantee there will be no improv. What do you think we are, Al-Qaeda? So, this Ramadan, submit to laughter five times a day. All proceeds will go to fund radical Islam. There will be a two burqa minimum. So be there or be beheaded. So will you be there? Shit, ISIS is gonna be there. Special thanks to our sponsors, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Qatar, the Military Industrial Complex, the Carlisle Group, and of course, Boston Pizza. Oh, that was great. I love that. That was great. Are you going to, oh. are you going to, uh, man, I want to go check that out. No, I don't want to go and fucking go anywhere near it, but it's a concept. It's fantastic. It's hilarious. But I just got, it's real roll. I just you'll got be, an email. You'll laugh yourself to death. Yeah. But then we won't have to kill you. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's like a fucking death cult. It's like, oh, no, no, it's a religion of peace. Oh, it looks like a death cult to me. No, no, religion of peace. Have you not read it? Yeah, I'm starting to. It's pretty bad. Death cult. I don't know if I'd be like relieved or insulted if I didn't get into that festival because I, I don't really get into really a lot of comedy festivals, if any, for that matter. And I just be, I wonder if, I don't know how I'd feel. It'd be like getting turned down for like the part of obese, ugliest man in the world, but you still want the gig. Yeah, John Stewart's going to do it. 
Yeah. John, John Stewart's going to be hosting, I think. Really? Yeah, because he loves all that shit. He's always apologizing for him. Yeah. Um, uh, the ISIS refers to him as the cool Jew. The cool Jew. Yeah. And uh, John Oliver, he fucking loves them. He loves them too. Yeah. You know. Well, that's the thing. If you're, if you're a progressive, you do like them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You fucking love that shit. No, no. Co- conflict of interest? What's that? Never heard of it. No. Never heard of it. I think there should be a reality TV show, though, with just like really uptight, politically correct hipsters uh, by you know, bunking up with ISIS. That, be, that is a great idea. <laughs> no, this have is, a reality this is, TV show. This is how to dispel the myth completely, right? Because No, for, and then call it the real world. The real world. <laughs> because, we, we, you know, you have these camps and you have these sort of like, you know, urbane sort of like uh, gay... Uh, 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 Cosmopolitan, cosmopolitan, socialist, socialist going, with their their book bags and their I black defend, glasses. I defend Islam's right to be Islam, and like uh, Islam's like, oh, we fucking kill everybody. I right? kill you, you faggot. I kill you, blah, yeah. blah, and they'll be like, well, that's your right to feel that. Wait yeah. a sec, I don't oh, like we're just, it anymore. We're, just, we're, we're, just, we're gonna bond over the fact that we don't like conservatives and right wingers, yeah. And then and then they'll, you, what you do is you force these fuckers to live together. And then find out what happened. Just film that shit. One of them gets killed. Well, I'll put money on which one. But anyway, one, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna film this shit, and I'm people will. I don't care. People will queue up to fucking buy that crap. If you put that on, this is a fantastic idea. We should put our money into this series right now. That'd be All great. All the money that we have, we should get it out of the bank and bankroll this TV program called The Real World, where yeah. we just put liberals and socialists together with jihadis. We could put on L- In a fucking two-bedroom basement suite. Like, with yeah. lots of washing up. Put on the Al Jazeera Out Network. <laughs> 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 well, I just thought it was a religion of peace. <laughs> yes, a piece of you here, a piece of you there, a piece of you everywhere. You Western homosexual, fuck you and your quinoa. Ah, la, la, la. Did you not see me throwing people off the building? Yeah, I'll see you next. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were joking. <laughs> you uh, should know dude. that we don't have sense of humor, as you don't either, because you are offended at everything. And we are offended at everything, but just different things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are offended on behalf of others. We are just offended for our rational, crazy shit. Oh, man. Can you imagine how much trouble we could get in if we lived in the real world? Oh, my God. <laughs> the real world. The real world coming to you soon. You can't say this shit. This is outrageous. Yeah. To have this idea is outrageous. It's, it's blasphemous to socialism and Islam. I don't know what this has to do with the solar system, but... It's got fuck all to do with it. Anyway, we were actually idea. just talking about the Racker Comedy Festival. That's what we were talking about, right? right? I, I, it would be cool. Get some gay comedians on. No, but the thing is, does the Islamic say, do they... I, but what is their deal with the performing arts? Do you know anything? Do they have, yeah, they do they have like a music uh, scene? Do they no, like, no, 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 they smash music. Oh, they, they don't even like yeah, music they got, either. Yeah, like, fuck this. You've got a guitar, smash the guitar. Really? Yeah, we catch you busking again, we cut you head off. So they, they, they don't like music of no. any sort? They don't like art? They don't no. like music? Nothing? No, 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 no. You can't, you can't, make, a, uh, you can't make an image of what is in heaven. Uh, you can't. That's why they smash all those sculptures. Right. And, well, those uh, are pre, like, those, like those are pre Muhammad, so the world. Yeah, which doesn't matter. It, 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 there is no god but Allah, and everything else is an idol to be smashed. But they do have a huge story slam scene. Uh, I'll take your word for it. No, they don't. <laughs> Last year, me and my friend we were in Kobani. And we killed a lot of people. Some of them children. It's a really good story. I will tell it for you now. <laughs> About 400 of those, yeah. I should imagine. Yeah, that'd be good. Not sure. Oh, yes, my name is uh, my, my name is Sister Sarah. I was raped like five times just yesterday. It's a fantastic story, Sister Sarah. This is you, what, what I like about our show is it doesn't matter what the topic is. It could be just like, hey, do you see that YouTube video about cute kittens? And you'd be like, yeah, speaking of ISIS, let's cut Christian's <laughs> heads off. That's the beautiful thing about the Dry Shave Show. Uh, we just deal, you know, people find... Donald Trump offensive. We are much more offensive than that. Yeah. Where's we our really press? Are. He's careful with his words. Yeah, where's our we, press? We're even more careful. Yeah. Why don't you take our names off buildings we don't know? Yeah. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> yeah. I want all of the names of Donald Trump taken off the building right now because it's offensive. Take his name off. <laughs> and he's like, really? Are you going to pay for that? No, no one should pay for it. Just take the fucking name off. <laughs> <laughs> but he paid for it. But he paid for it. But, 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 but money doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, put Gregor Robertson's name on it and get him to pay for it. Fuck it, we can do what we want. That's wrong. We take it off. No one's paying for it. We're just going to do stuff that because we don't like it. We don't have to pay for stuff or justify it. We're doing the right thing. Stop it. We'll build another bike lane out of hemp. 
Fucking brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant logic. Yeah. Just, just you know. Anyway, I'm going to the festival. I'm going to risk it. No, I wish. I right, listen. I could do a whole show about renaming the Donald Trump Tower. The fucking the lack of logic that went in behind that campaign. There is a Donald Trump Tower in <laughs> Vancouver for those of you in, uh, in other places, and uh, they want to remove the name because he's yeah, offensive. Because he's offensive. So, but they haven't worked out that, that they basically have to pay a load of money to do that because he's put a load of money, a load of money into it. Hence, his name on the tower. <laughs> well, that's true. That's why they they never changed Hitler Mountain. You know, Hitler Mountain, you know, he paid for it. He, he died, did. still is. Went to his son, little oh. Hitler. Doug Hitler. Doug Hitler Mountain. <laughs> yeah. All right, should we get to the last fucking news? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. About that. I thought we were <laughs> finished. We were just on free fall there. We were just watching Matt look at us with this sense of disdain. Yeah, like, you guys are cunts. Indifference. All you right, guys so are animals. The third fucking news. Police in England are searching for a suspect who climbed through the uh, an order window at a KFC uh, a few days before Christmas and made off with the contents of the safe. The suspect, who carried a large knife, was reportedly wearing red pants, a red jacket, a red hat, and a fake white beard. That's right, a knife-wielding Santa Claus has robbed a KFC. Brilliant. Cue dodgy accent, Byron. Was there... Give me a goddamn chicken. That's not that's not an English accent. Everybody knows that. Oh right, okay. Go on. Oh right, then. I'm fucking full of Christmas. Hang on, can. can we just rewind? Where where did it happen? It just said England. Oh, that's no good. We need to be more specific. All right. So we can fuck up the accent properly. <laughs> <laughs> Give us your fucking six piece, you cunt. All right, you're getting away with this. I'm full of fucking Christmas, mate. Well, what else did he say? Anyway, go on, fucking stuff it. Did I he, don't know. Did he ask for a bucket to go? Give us a fucking bucket, love. Did he, what, a bucket oh, or what? I'm fucking for the Christmas, sides? mate. I want some fucking coleslaw, don't I? What? I'm fucking setting, mate. I've got elves fucking here starving. It's fucking Christmas, you fucking muppets. Potato Give salad me those fucking in hormone jacky fucking chickens. Stuff them, fry them, stick them in a fucking bucket, mate. I'm sitting and I'm fucking pissed as you cunts. Excuse me, sir. I can't serve you unless you're in a car. Fucking fair enough, mate. Fair enough, fucking You have enough. to go back to the queue, or you're going to have to come inside the I've building. I've got a fucking sled, mate, don't I? <laughs> I've got a fucking sled, you fucking mug. You're going to have to move your reindeer forward a bit, sir. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> gonna, you're going to have to move your... That reindeer's in the way, sir. Fucking English. So many fucking queues. You know who the fuck I am, mate? You're messing with the wrong fucking set, you fucking cunt. Is this in the North by any chance, or Birmingham? I don't fucking know where he is. I'm fucking living in the North Pole. That's your fucking off, isn't it? Well, you ain't real fucking off. You don't go real fucking off. Sounds like go Folkestone. Go fucking off, Poe, mate. Sounds like, no, no, it's gone a little bit silly, but, but it sounds like Norfolk, somewhere like that, maybe Essex. Kent. It's, it's fucking Norfolk. Norfolk. Was it yeah. in Norfolk? Norfolk Santa? Norfolk Santa, mate. Norfolk Death Santa. Matt's now looking at you with that same look he was giving both of us earlier on. So All right, stop apparently he's fucking... You stop fucking doing this. Satty voice is getting old. Hey, um, that was, uh, that, so that was Santa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is the it for fucking news. But we're going to move right into who said it, our game show segment. Oh, I love this. Oh, That's I hope right. Santa's one of the characters. That's the, the who said it, the game show that asks two contestants to battle it out to determine who said what. Today's topic, who said it, Margaret Thatcher or Hillary Rodham Clinton. Nice. Ooh, that's a difficult one already. We already talked about who we, we did sex with. That's a long time ago. That was a while ago. Yeah. yeah. And you got shit on social media for that, didn't you? I don't know. Yeah, someone was like, oh, you're talking about who you have sex with? It's two seconds oh, ago. Oh, yes, our friend oh, Ryan yeah. said that. He's like, why would you do that? No, why no, no, it was a girl. It was a girl, wasn't it? No. Are you guys talking about who you'd have sex with, bringing it down to the, the, the guttural level, sexism and all that? Like, really? I think that was it, wasn't it? We could talk about her wonderful policies. Yeah, let's come on, man. But let's, let's let's just do this. All right. So, <laughs> first up for who said it? Who said it? Rodham Clinton uh, or Margaret Rodham. Thatcher? Rodham Clinton. Uh, Hello, I'm Margaret Motherfucking Bling. First up, the problem with socialism is that you eventually run out of other people's money. Who oh, said it's it? Margaret Thatcher. Yeah, of course it's on. Thatcher. There you go. One point for each. That's true, though. She's playing on. I'm a socialist when it's convenient. Uh, next, next question: uh, Who said it? Who said it? Hillary Clinton or uh, Margaret Thatcher? That's right. I already forgot. 
People can judge me for what I've done, and I think when somebody's out of the public eye, that's what they do. So I'm fully comfortable with who I am, what I stand for, and what I've always stood for. Who said it? Oh, that's, that, that's far too... Um that's far too vague to be Margaret Thatcher. I think that's Hillary Clinton. Yeah, I think it's Hillary. Hillary. It is Rodham Clinton. There you go. Hill Uh Okay. I might have an unfair are... advantage here because I grew up under Margaret Thatcher from 1979 to 1991. And it could be because Hillary, from reading the quotes, is incredibly uneloquent. Yes, She exactly. is not eloquent at all. No. She's wordy as fuck. Goes on and on and on, whereas Thatcher is... Short and sweet, right. but you will notice that the next ones I've picked are short and sweet. So well, you're, you're trying to confuse us. Of course, by of course. now you're trying to hoodwink us. Oh, number that's three, got nothing to you do little hoodwinker. Question three in the game show: Who said it? Who said the following? Hillary or Margaret? Showing up is not at all of life, but it counts for a lot. Who said it? I would say oh, that's a hard one. That's Showing weird. up is not all of life, but it counts it's, for a while. The lot. diction is terrible. He sounds like Hillary. I'm going to go with uh, Thatch Match. 1.4. Ivan, there we go. Ivan pulls ahead. That's 3-2. Damn two. you and your uh, Thatcher she, knowledge. No, she would never say. You're right. She, it's, it's a badly constructed sentence. No, Hillary fucking sucks. <laughs> I'm all about Bernie Sanders, so I don't like Hillary. Uh, you know, because I give more of a shit about American politics, like all Canadians do. That's yeah, true. Exactly. Canadian politics. Yeah. I don't even know who our fucking president is. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it, it's, uh, it's the pool boy. Still. Yeah, President Pool Boy. We don't even have a president. That's how much I know. <laughs> it's President Pool Boy. Go on, yeah. sorry, Matt. Uh, fourth question, and who said it? Who said the following? Margaret Thatcher or Hillary Clinton? Who said, power is like being a lady. If you have to tell people you are, you aren't. Oh, it's definitely Margaret Thatcher. Yeah, that's Thatcher. Points for each. Couple I'm of fucking days. Fucking expert on the touch without even knowing. Yep. Well, there your we go. first crush, you had a poster of her hanging up on your, your wall. <laughs> so the points are four for Ivan, three for Byron. All yeah. you gotta do is just keep on copying me until you feel like I've got it dramatically and drastically wrong. That's true. The next question, number five, and who said it? Who said the following? Hillary or Margaret? I'm undaunted in my quest to amuse myself by constantly changing my hair. Who said it? Oh, that's, that'd be Hill Ray. That's another, yeah, that's another poorly constructed sentence from Hillary. Point for each. All right, there we go. So, still with one point ahead, which means this next one, which is worth two points, the final question, might change everything. Oh. So, who said the following in this game of who said it? I am extraordinarily patient, provided that I get my own way in the end. Who said it? That is a very difficult one because there's not enough there to give away the bad diction. Uh, Who said it? I am extraordinarily patient, provided I get my own way in the end. Okay, let's say it's Margaret Thatcher. Well, I'm going to have to go Hillary if I want to win, if I'm right. So I'm going to go Hillary. The strategic move by Byron, but it fails. It's Margaret Thatcher. Oh, oh. God Damn it. Can't we just both be equal like socialists? <laughs> there we go. So that, that was, was who that said was, it. That was quite enthralling. Yep. And our winner today, of course, is Mr. Ivan Penaluna. Thank you very much. I didn't know I was an expert on Margaret Thatcher until now. And you get to win nothing because this communist game show. <laughs> it's the pleasure of winning. It's the pleasure. Look at the Maybe smile I'll on my give face, you toilet paper. Look at my smile on my face. That was very, very entertaining, Matt. I thoroughly enjoyed that. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for us for this week. It's a bit of a, bit of a weird show. But, uh, it was a, weird, a bit of a weird, surreal show. It had its moments. It had its uh, even better moments. Ups and downs. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I've been Ivan Penaluna. I'm Byron Boschram. <laughs>